Boy, isn't that totally gross. <laughs> yeah. You. Okay. I got me some more paint. I got some more hardware. I got the uh, grease circs. I got the Carter pins. I got new bolts. Some of these I had to compromise on. Um, I may clean these ones up and reuse them. Uh, the only ones I could find with the right thread were actually smaller lock washers. All these are the same. I got my bearings. Yeah, pricey. Uh, couldn't find these flathead screws so what I did was I got these bolts and then I couldn't find flat washers but then I found lock washers that'll all these do is hold them bearings onto the pulleys so that should be fine uh, source some uh, uh, washers um, yeah I had to compromise again I don't know if I'm gonna have to reuse this there was one bolt that's an odd length so it's like a quarter inch shorter that may work I don't know if not I'll reuse that bolt but uh, for the most part I got all the hardware except for this stuff here uh, that's a special nut that holds the uh, this cap on uh, that's in good shape caps in good shape so uh, this will get reused here, but for the most part, we're going to get all new hardware. Painting is going to be sort of out of the question for a little while because of the heat. Uh, but this, this batch here is ready to be finalized, wiped down, and painted. So, uh, pretty much uh, this is done. I'm finishing up the big frames. Those are done. And... Once I get some shade over here, I'm going to throw the trickle charger on red. Uh, I had to mow the uh, septic area down over there. Um, I want to blow the deck off. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this flat stuff hopefully will go pretty quick once it cools down. Oh, I do need to take this in. Oh, that's going to be hot to pick up. I'm going to wait for the shade. I need to source these ends and see if I can get them off. Uh, if not, I'm just going to have to reuse that. But I think I've seen these. I can't think of what the name of, of them are. And I hope they're not. I don't think they're welded. I think they're just going to twist out of there. So, yeah. Uh, I'll bring that in. Plus, i got to pump grease through it and get the old grease out. So, not a lot left to do. Alright, so I pulled these ends off of the tube over there and yeah I'm cleaning the grease out of it um, so I got on the master car and these have a hole drilled through them so grease can push through they don't make these anymore I found two new ones but the grease fittings are on the side so uh, I went ahead and ordered them ten bucks a piece uh, I'll hang on to these though I will need to reuse the jam nuts but uh, yeah I had to get them off because I had to take measurements and then I needed to know if they was and they're both left hand threads so that's what I needed to know um, this, this does have to be adjusted and I went and got my long drill bit Basically, just wadded up a piece of paper towel and stuffed it here. I put the grease fitting back on. Uh, I'm probably just going to block that off. But I wanted to get all this old grease out. Alright, so the first time I tried to... Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let me make sure you still... Yeah. Uh, first time I tried to pull this bearing off, this time I'm checking my puller 
and I can lock it all the way down so yeah what we're going to try to do this time is get this thing to cinch up under that race because I think I was just pulling on the outer housing Well, I guess I'm going to have to try to get up under that now. But now that I can see where I'm at, maybe that ain't going to be so hard. So let me uh, let me reset and see if I can. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the torch out too. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, well, I think I'm definitely under the race now. So I think I'm going to hook the puller up again and go ahead and hit it with heat and see if we can get it to budge that way. Well, I felt something give. I heated it. Something's moving. I don't know what yet. Yeah, it was the puller. All right, I'm going to have to figure something else out, looks like. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So what I'm doing is I'm carefully grinding notches in the top here. Um, being very careful not to touch this bottom because that's a seal. But uh, I've got one over here. I've got one over here. I'm going to hit this one. Loud noises. Yeah, this is going to probably take a while, but it is working. Yeah, I burn up just about every grinding bit I own. So, yeah, I got to do uh, what I did want to do and get medieval on this thing. Alright, I think I got something. Had to get medieval on it. But, uh, it's moving, so I should be able to get this off now. I'm looking, this whole part here, I'm seeing, I may have been trying to grab it wrong. I was trying to grab it there, but look, yep, sure enough, I need to grab it under here. Let me uh, grab some channel lock, see if I can pull that up now. I may go back to the puller now. I know where to grab it. Well, it took pretty much all day, but I'm curious to see if I damaged the shaft or not. Yeah, I'm letting the puller do all the work. I'm tired of fighting with this thing. I'm just going to let it take it all the way off. Ta-da! All right, moment of truth. Yeah, I did cut into it. But honestly, there's meat below it, meat above it. I think that's going to be fine. At least for what it's going to do so whew, uh, yeah I think uh, the next step is going to be cleaning this pulley up and uh, go ahead and paint it and get a bearing pressed on there
that's going to be tomorrow i'm going to call it for here guys i got a mess to clean up uh, thanks for watching